in this week's video we are going to be talking all about wooden hoops and how to keep the fabric in them nice and taut. Hi everyone, Marie here. In this week's video, I'd like to talk to you about wooden hoops. They are a great affordable option in terms of uh, getting uh, a hoop or something to hold your fabric. However, they can be really tricky. As you can see in this hoop, we've got a fabric that is really, really loose and really easy moves in the hoop which is not great for stitching experience it makes for messier stitches and um, it just makes it a little bit more tricky to enjoy your stitching experience in contrast this uh, fabric is nice and taut it's not perfectly stretched i'm sure there are other products uh, other hoops and frames uh, or Q-snaps on the market that could make a torta fabric. However, if you need to use a wooden hoop, uh, it is the only thing you have available or it is simply the thing you prefer to use, let me show you how to make for a nice and taut fabric and how to make a nice stitching experience. The secret of keeping your fabric nice and stretched in your hoop is the use of twill tape. That's why we have it here as well. The trick is to wrap your inner hoop in the twill tape. That then creates an area that creates a traction between the wood of the hoop and uh, your fabric and it then prevents the fabric from moving in contrast it is really it is possible but it is a lot more difficult to move the fabric around with the twill hoop wrapped in the inner hoop in comparison to here which is like really really easy it is it sort of even slips off really easily this practically doesn't move let me show you i mean it is obviously possible to push it off but it is a lot harder and when you have it somewhere in a stand or when you're holding it like this your fabric is a lot more sort of stable in the hoop and it requires a lot less adjustments like this during stitching the twill tape solution is a very inexpensive and quick thing to do. The twill tape probably costs between three and five pounds on Amazon and you have a lifetime supply of, uh, of hoop wrap. Um, and all you need is a sharp needle and uh, some leftover thread to join it at the end and five minutes of your time and that is literally it you can start using your wooden hoops in a lot more comfortable way let me show you how to do this quickly
Some people also advocate wrapping the twill tape around the outer hoop as well. However, I would strongly recommend you to check that the screw that you've got on the top of your hoop is wide enough to be able to take twill tape both on the inner and the outer hoop. The twill tape does add quite a bit of volume and combined with ADA inside, for example, in my case here, um, means that my, uh, my hoop is right at the end of its capacity. I wouldn't be able to put the twill tape around the outer hoop because the, the screw simply wouldn't be wide enough to be able to still connect both ends of the hoop. So just be mindful of that. I would also recommend not using the sort of really cheap bamboo um, hoops from Amazon. This is because the screw is usually really quite short and the span of the hoop will simply not be big enough to fit the uh, twill tape on the inner hoop. When choosing a wooden hoop, you might want to be looking at brands like Elpsy, like this hoop that is available on our website, or this Nerge hoop that is available on Amazon. Generally, anything non-bamboo but um, wood or beech wood um, will make for a very nice, sturdy uh, hoop that you're going to be able to rely on for a long time to come. I hope this little tip helped you to make the most out of your wooden hoop. If yes, let us know in the comments. If you have any other tricks or tips, please let us know as well. Give us a thumbs up, hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are informed every Monday when we post our new tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this week and see you next Monday.